Hey YouTube, Ham back with you at the table. Going through the bags from the vacation, I realized I hadn't shown you two of the things that I picked up at that supply sergeant store that I did the video at, where we were looking at that whole wall full of stuff. Well, you saw the, uh, the girlfriend in that video. I have to thank her for immediately reaching into my pocket and grabbing my wallet. What did you think I was going to say? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I, because I would go crazy in there very simply. I actually did, but I found these two at the bottom of the bag. Finally got around to finishing unpacking, and I realized I hadn't shown you these. These are just two simple pouches. One, both of them I really like for various reasons. This first one, I was looking for a new camera pouch. Something I could pop a camera into and keep all the accessories and kind of make it a one grab deal if I was just going out and about being touristy for the day. And I got this. It's made by Condor. This was like 12 bucks. Very, very nice, very nicely padded front and back to this. It's just a simple deep well pocket. Perfect for just sliding the camera or anything else in there. And then you also have a very nice deep pocket on the front. Cell phone, keys, cash, whatever. And either attach it to something. It's got a Velcro patch here, of course. If you need to identify, there it is. It'll take any Velcro patch you have. It also has the really nice, I like the way Condor does this. They do the double thick, articulated Molly web belts here. It's still got the snap, but you know sometimes you'll get this up on a pack or something where you're trying to attach it with Molly, and it's really difficult to snake the strap through to get it to the bottom where you're in the clear and you can snap it close. Well, Condor gives you a little bit of wiggle room there to where you can snake this around. This is still in, but it's stiff. It's heavy duty. You can get it through all the little webbing and still have enough at the bottom to snap it closed which it won't do now because I'm on camera. Thank you very much. There we go. Well, it didn't. I thought it did, but it didn't. Anyway, there it is. I uh, Like I said, 12 bucks, and hopefully somebody with actual motor skills can handle that snap. But that's the first thing. The second one, I use this all the time on the street. I'm on the street all day long in my job in television news. And we're always carrying ID. And ID holders. Well, sometimes you're running around, big story, uh, hopefully, God forbid, it isn't a horrendous story, but especially in Washington, D.C., you're carrying a lot of IDs with you. And I'm always looking for these good tactical ID holders. I have a bunch of them, but this one was very inexpensive. This is by Fox Tactical Outfitters. And again, it's got the Velcro thing on the top, so you can put any identifiers you need to or just a simple American flag whatever you want and then it's got the large clear and I do mean large this one's actually bigger than normal large size clear window at the top so you can take your ID and slide it in and they'll know how to identify the body uh, I mean they'll know who you are it, it, well okay but like a lot of these this opens up to give you a lot more on the inside. Now, uh, there are some made by Maxpedition, uh, Tactical Tailor, other people that will give you uh, just all kinds of slots to put things in, and the tendency is to go overboard. What I like about this is they've segregated it off into sealable compartments, and there's not too many of them, so you can get what you need to in here and get it out in a hurry. Hurry. With reporters, that's things like notepads and pens and maybe some extra ID, uh, things like that that you need to get to. It's around your neck. Uh, this has a little grab purse in it with mesh coating so you can see what's on the inside to some degree. It doesn't show up on camera, but that zips close so things don't fall out as you're running around. But the nice thing about it is these next pouches, one here, right behind that pouch, and the next one up, which is even deeper, you can put your wallet in there, whatever if you had to. I can't see you carrying a lot of stuff in there, but if you had to put different things, documents, whatever, it's in there. These are Velcro closed. So if you pop something in there, it's not going to go flapping out the sides like some will. It stays in there, which is a great thing. Then you've got uh, two larger pouches. 
which are good for like you know maybe even a cigarette lighter or, or extra pens or whatever you want to do. I mean, they'll fit in there without too much trouble and it'll fit inside the line. Then at the top, you've got two larger folds that actually go the length of the pouch. For anything large or something, you had a segment in there, there's one there and a second one there. Those are not Velcro closed. But the good thing about this is the top one, if you take the lanyard that comes with it, and it's nylon web, you might want to take this and replace it with paracord, whatever you want to do. You can roll that up and stick it inside there, and it'll just hold. And you can fold it up, and there's your ID holder. And it can travel in a wallet, in a briefcase, whatever. When you need it, you pull it out, everything's in there, and you're good to go. And like I said, in some situations on the street, it's preferable to have it hanging around your neck than trying to dig for it in your pockets. Also, a really good holder for a small folder would fit in there really well, keep something close at hand. But anyway, that's the rest of what I got from the Supply Sergeant on Hollywood Boulevard in beautiful downtown Hollywood, California. See you next time.